everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. If you're just joining me, this is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. On today's episode, I am actually broadcasting from my brand new in-home studio, which I'm really excited about. Uh, my boyfriend and I just moved in together and got our new place, and uh, we're really excited about it. He's an artist too, so I have to share my studio space with him, but luckily... I've confined him to this little corner over here, so he'll stay out of my way. <laughs> Just kidding, honey, I love you. But anyway, we are still getting settled in, and as you can see, we still have got some boxes and mayhem going on, and poor Pokey's trapped over there in a little pen for the moment until I get his cage set up, but uh, I'll take care of him soon. But anyway, regardless of this, I've still managed to create a new art piece and a new episode for you guys today. So let's get going and let me explain what we're doing. Um, I recently got an email from Camila Dorico's assistant, Tasha, um, notifying me and inviting me to participate in a new contest that she's putting on. Um, it's going to be a fan art contest inspired by her graphic novel, um, Tan Popo, and her characters of Tan Popo and Kuro. And she wants us to create our original interpretation of her characters. So I am just super excited. Um, I love this book. If you've not seen this before, I highly recommend picking up a copy of it. This is the hardbound um, anthology that has all three of her first volumes. And it's just a beautiful book, and it's so poetic, and I could just look at it for hours. And um, So if you're a fan of her, you should definitely get this book, and it's just awesome and inspiring. So anyway, I've decided for my piece, I'm going to sort of go back to my roots and my early inspirations and probably one of my first inspirations ever was the movie The Last Unicorn and if you're anywhere around my age and a girl I'm sure you've seen this movie even if you're not it's a, it's a beautiful movie it's got to be one of the most beautifully animated films that I've ever seen even to this day and um, it was just definitely a huge influence on my artistic style and I just, I love it. So I'm going to show you guys um, some imagery from the movie if you haven't seen it. And um, I'm going to sort of collaborate um, Camila's character of Tampopo and Kuro and sort of put them in the world of The Last Unicorn and as Amalthea and the characters in that movie. So it's sort of going to be a hybrid piece um, incorporating two of my favorite things ever. So it should be pretty cool. So let's get started on that and uh, get some paint on this canvas. Now I've got my color palette ready here and I'm really sticking to the deep blues and the beautiful violets that they use in the film. And I am painting with acrylic paint, since that's the number one thing I get asked on my videos, is what kind of paint? What kind of paint? It's acrylic paint. And I paint on hardboard or masonite panel, generally. Uh, I have another video about my tools on the trade if you want to check out more detailed information about my materials. So please check that out. Uh, finally, I leave you with the amazing soundtrack from The Last Unicorn which is just as amazing as the movie actually and all the songs are by America which is freaking awesome so enjoy in the sea the fish have learned to fly on a moonlit night on wings of silver as the enchanted star now I talked about this before but I like to do my initial drawing with white chalk on my background because it's really easy to remove and wipe off with a wet cloth and it doesn't dig into your paint like graphite or a hard pencil does where do unicorns go where we Whales lost at sea and never seen again. Go, go and ask the magpie. Where do unicorns go? In the 
trees The birds have learned to speak Gave the color They keep their secrets In a parade of clouds Playing hide and seek Do they know Where do unicorns go Where winged horses fly Not whales lost at sea and never seen again Does myth And mystery lie Where the unicorns go Now a great trick with acrylic paint is you can use blue painter's tape to get a nice clean edge like I want with the unicorn horn here. Just remember to let it dry completely before removing the tape. Up to me, the purple dawn, dust demon, screaming, bring an eagle to lead me on. For in my heart I carry such a heavy load Here I am on man's road I'm going to put a few more finishing touches on my Tampa Pole Last Unicorn piece and before I do that I just want to make a few but before I do that, I just want to show you guys a few new things. Um, I have some new items in the Etsy store, as always. Um, I've got little cute buttons and magnets and mirrors of my Hate Ashbury Girl, if you were into that one on the last episode. But what I'm really excited about is um, I have some more canvas reproduction prints. And um, this is um, a new one that I have now that is the Mad Hattress. And this is a 12 by 16 canvas. It's a reproduction that's stretched and ready to hang. And I'm going to make these a little bit um, more extra special. So I've decided that I'm releasing um, editions of 10. So I'm only going to do 10 reproductions per piece per original painting. And I'm also going to hand embellish them in acrylic paint. So each one will be personalized and a little bit unique and actually have my artist touch on it, if you will. Yes, fancy. I will have painted on it. Yes, you can keep it forever. Um, so anyway, if you're interested in getting one of these, I can do any image that I've done, any original painting, and um, create them in a variety of sizes. So this is the smallest size that I can do and the most affordable. And I can do up to really large canvases. And they will include a um, certificate of authenticity and be signed and numbered by me. So remember, I'm only doing 10 of each original piece. So if the original is already sold, you should grab one of these reproductions before I sell out. So just send me an email to Leilani at LeilaniJoy.com if you're interested in getting one of these. Um, I also have a few listed in my Etsy store that are already um, in stock and ready to buy, so you can check those out as well. All right, so with that said, let me show you guys how my Tampa Pole Last Unicorn piece came out. And I will have prints of her very soon, and if you're interested in the original, please send me an email. And she will be available um, in August after the show closes in LA. So I'll let you guys know some more about that very soon. And as soon as I'm done with this episode, I'm going to get to work on those collaboration contest winners that I chose. And I'm going to be doing three episodes, one for each winner. So sorry for um, the wait on that. I've been moving and doing this piece that had the deadlines. This has been crazy, but that's the next thing I'm going to do. So please stay tuned for that. 
Uh, and finally, I'm also gonna do a video um, from the Tampopo show and show you guys um, how my piece looks in the gallery. So I can't wait to uh, get that going as well. So there's gonna be lots of new episodes coming up very soon. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support and all the great messages I get from you guys. It's really awesome and it always seriously means a lot to me to see your fan art and see you guys improving as artists as I try to do myself. So it's really great to grow along and learn with you guys. So that's been cool. So I'm out of here and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Once I can't remember I was long ago someone strange I was innocent and wise Now